what was I saying? I'm getting all confused. Welcome back to another stream on Twitch if you're watching live or on uh, Moklai Siobhan if you are watching on YouTube. Here is Bean. She just hung, hung out with us for a little bit and showed us that she's feeling all good after her spay. But today, today we- I got the edge back. Yeah, we did a song. Um, today we are going to be doing an interesting build challenge that I just kind of- I want to do this build because I want to use it in a challenge. I'm in Strangerville and there is a reason for that. I want to do a Fallout challenge. If you don't know what Fallout is, it is uh, a game made by Bethesda who also make The Sims. And it's basically set after a nuclear apocalypse. So you come out of a bunker and the world is forever changed. Um, but what I want to do the challenge on is when we're still in the bunker, like make our sim live underground in a bunker. They're not allowed to go out to the top world because it's dangerous, there's radiation. They have to try and survive in the bunker for as long as they can. Uh, so we're going to build the bunker. There's going to be there's going to be no fridges or anything. Everything they want to eat, they're going to have to grow themselves. And they're just going to have to try and survive down there, even though there won't be any social. They'll be all on their own. Um, and what we could do is maybe at some point they find another survivor or someone like knocks on the door and they have to decide whether to let them in or not. Um, and what I will do to make things harder as well is I've got the uh, Life's Tragedies mod. So what I'm gonna do is after like a week of them just hanging out down there, maybe not even a week, maybe a couple of days, I will slowly start making things more tragic as in the radiation has started getting in. This is a dark challenge, but I wanna do it because it sounds really fun. So when they're first down there, no life tragedies, they're just surviving. Maybe they find another survivor, they're chilling. And then I add life's tragedies on low setting. So there's a low chance of one of them getting ill or sick. I'm not gonna have it where somebody could kidnap them or anything. It's literally just gonna be for sickness. And then the day after, or, ne or two days after, we move it up to medium sickness. And then two days after that, we put it up to high chance of sickness. And we see if our survivor fallout sim can make it. Maybe it's the end of the week. I need to plan this out and write it. But that is gonna be what the challenge is. It's pretty crazy, right? I think it could be really, really fun. And it kind of has that sort of dark psycho element that I just like out of The Sims. I like out of The Sims. So I decided to make Strangerville the world that we are going to be using. I'm going to take over this guy's lot. I've picked Strangerville because I feel like the redacted, the secret laboratory, it, the, we could have it the storyline as the fact that it's come from there. Like a nuclear explosion happened at the secret lab. It triggered an apocalypse. And we've been living underground ever since. Maybe we're like fifth generation to live underground. And what I'll do is I'll delete all these houses. Like I'll delete everything so that it's just a wasteland. It is just a complete, total, and utter barren wasteland. And we're going to build our bunker here because here is quite green. Um, so I don't really want to build it up there. I just want to build it down here. But all we're going to be doing today is actually the, um, the build side of things. Because you guys seem to like watching me do builds when I'm in a live stream, so I thought it could be a pretty good way to do things. Now, my PC in its current form, it is going to get upgraded, but in its current form, it can't handle um, music from Chrome at the same time as music in-game. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on in-game music um, so that at least we have something to listen to because it's kind of annoying when there's no music, right? So no background music anymore. We're in Sims game music now. Hopefully you guys can hear that okay. Ba, 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 da, da, da. And there's lots to talk about in this video. We've had leaks from The Sims, um, from the upcoming pack for Eco Living. We've had Paralives also had some leaks, but today has a live stream at 5 p.m., which is not too far off. I meant to start the stream a lot earlier than I actually did. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and stuff. I've joined Paralives Patron. So that um, now I will be able to, I don't know if you get early access or not, but I'll be able to like see stuff and obviously not leak stuff, but I just want to get myself hyped about the game because I've been saying for like a long time that The Sims needs a competitor because um, I feel like I was literally talking about this with them. Um, oh no, why, why is shift not working? That's weird. I've got um, a new keyboard and it's American. And so nothing works! Not literally- Oh, I didn't need to build up there, did I? I needed just to build below. Yeah, nothing works, which is super annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like... Wait, cannot place outside the boundary. Do I need to put the stairs down there first? Do I need to do that? And then... How do I build up below? Why do I always forget how to do this? Do I need to get some stairs going down to it first? 
Top of the stairs are off a lot. Oh my gosh, Claire, why are you so thick? Why are you so thick? Why is it that every time I want to build something, it tells me no, cannot place outside the boundary of the lot? Just build. What's wrong with you? Just build. Top of the stairs are off the lot. Is it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Maybe this lot won't allow you to do it? I don't know. In a new save. This is in a new save. Yeah, don't worry. There's a basement tool. There is? Am I being thick? It's, it feels like something I do, so... Basement tool. You guys! You, you guys, it's not helping. <laughs> it's not helping! Help! Maybe this lot won't let you do it. The old Penelope. I wanted this one, though, because it looked really cool. Can I use the basement tool? I am! Put on the grid. Oh my gosh, you guys, what would I do without you? Like, literally, what would I do without you? I won't be able to do the stream, that's for sure. I, I need to be in a, a stream environment or else... Why can't I go downstairs now? Okay, fine, whatever, we'll just put that there. Um, I need to be in a stream environment because I would have been searching for this for so long. Okay, now the thing about a nuclear bunker is... Oh, wow, are you a level below? You're a level below a level below. How low are you? Oh, oh wow. Oh, I can go two levels down. Oh, I think it's because I downloaded the mod that let me build underground in Solani. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, so the thing about nuclear bunkers is we kind of have to be sensible with the amount of space we're allocated. It's probably going to be kind of small. But the thing I'm actually not going to lie the most hyped about is making the outside world look all scary. Uh, and like Fallout, which is kind of ironic because I'm not gonna lie. I actually couldn't play the Fallout games because I found them too depressing <laughs> I just like the whole time I was like this is too it's too much for me It's just like all a little bit too much. It's all a little bit too sad and I don't know if I like this Also, you get a dog called dog meat. This is Fallout 3 I'm talking about and my dog meat like would die every two seconds and I just I just mentally could not handle that, okay? Why did dog meat have to die so easily? Why add a dog to a game and then make the dog die really easily? Why do, why do games do that? No. No. Okay, no, the dog should have been... If I'd, if I'd have been modern, like, at that time, like I did with, um... What are you building? I'm building a nuclear... Yeah, guys, please stop checking your peaches now. Uh, we'll do peach and ch peaches check at the end. If you do check your peaches after this point, you might be put on mute for a while. Just to warn you. Um, that's Fallout 4. Am I thinking of Fallout 4? I swear I'm thinking of Fallout 3. Fallout 3, Fallout 4. Maybe it is Fallout 4. It's whatever the one before New Vegas was. But yeah, the dog died really easily. And it was just, like, really annoying, basically. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I don't want... Why does this bit have to be... Like out? That I don't see why. You know what? We'll put bushes and stuff over it. It's fine. So, the entrance to the um, little bit downstairs would it? It would actually have to be in a room because just anyone could walk in otherwise. So we'll have to put like a vault door on, which means I need the cheat that lets me get all of the stuff from the Strangeville debug pack because it needs to look like a nuclear wasteland, which I'm actually excited about because I think the Strangerville Park has some really cool stuff to it. So I need the debug Sims cheat, which you guys will get to see if you don't already use it. Uh, let me just grab this up right now. So it's BB, oh, hang on. <laughs> Every time it's, um, stop it Sims, BB. No, test, stop being hang on. So rude. So rude. I think whatever I do to start the cheat starts the hangle. It's really annoying. Uh, so testing cheats on. No, <laughs> testing cheats on. Thank you. Uh, show live edit objects. And then we'll also, we want the debug objects. So I always search Sims for cars debug. For some reason that always brings up the page that I want. Um, which I can put in the chat actually. So that you guys can also have the same page. There you go. Um, and then, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm grabbing these. Debug objects show hidden objects as well. Might as well add a bit of that in. Look at the stupid thing building walls behind. Egypt! 
Uh, is that on there as well? I think it is. And then also we want this one. Ignore gameplay sentiment. So we can just get everything. Boom. Boom shakalaka. And then... I'm gonna search debug. But I'm actually gonna just search for the Strangeville Park for now because that's got the weird stuff, right? That's got the really crazy looking stuff that is gonna look like... Come on, game. Come on, game. You got this. You got this. There we go. That's got the crazy stuff that looks like it came from a nuclear apocalypse. Apocalypse. Um, Pax. This is actually one of my favorite packs as well, Strangerville. Oh yes. Okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be kind of depressing inside. I will make it a bit bigger. I, I thought we could have like little rooms for like each, um, like little, like a grow room, a toilet room, a storage room. A, a rec room because you'd have to try and stay active down there wouldn't you because otherwise your body's just gonna waste away so we need like a rec room and stuff as well but for out here what i ooh, yes i'm just gonna throw stuff together and see if anything oh <gasps> look at that it's all smashed like as if something used to be here maybe the sign was like survivor's head here but everything happened so fast that your family were the only one that managed to get down, and you were the only one that survived since that. Um, because I feel like radiation would definitely mess with fertility. And would also make mutations. I don't know, maybe whichever sim we put down here, we should kind of make them look a little bit, like, like, mutated? I don't know, is that a little bit too bold? I don't know, but we could have like a weird kind of mutations vibes. I just want it to look like really fallouty, basically. I want it to be scary and weird because i could i couldn't play the game because it was scary and weird so let's just do it in sims instead um yes some nuclear waste piled up as well spoopy it is gonna be spoopy uh did you guys are you guys gonna be watching the power live stream today at 5 p.m if i need to then try and finish this before five um but yeah they're gonna be streaming a whole bunch of stuff from the game so should be uh pretty cool kind of exciting vibes and we'll get to find out a little bit more about it. I think we get to see, although a uh, technical has been leaked, but we'll get to see how the people in the game um, are looking. So that could be kind of cool. I want this to be like off the lot a little bit. Like a plane fell down from the sky when the explosion happened. Kind of cool. Uh, but I'm, I'm ma mainly trying to make this look like it would need like an air vent and stuff, wouldn't it? Where's that vent just gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to try and like look. And this will have filters in it to try and like recycle the air. I'm got. I'm thinking way too much about this. I'm aware of that, um, but I don't care. I want to make it like really authentic. So yeah, this will recycle our air, which uh, we will need because uh, you know, it will be all. It'll be not very vibey. <laughs> it will be quite um, radiationy. Yeah, these are all like the tools that like help recycle our air and stuff that we'll just have hanging out outside. And I kind of feel like it won't be a pretty building. It will be basic, like, functional building. Has have any of you guys watched Clover Street? What's it called? 49 Clover Street? 14 Clover Street? 7 Clover Street? It's one of the Clover Streets, but they basically live in a place like this. Guys, stop checking your peaches! <laughs> Listen to the mods. They're there to make things better for all of us. Okay, I'm gonna put, like, some little tools and stuff. I might as well make these walls a bit higher, might I? Maybe real high. And then this little air filter, I'll just move up a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's a, a, there's a movie called Cloverfield Lane, which is like these people living in a bunker. But the whole time, you don't really know whether one of the characters, look, they've been there a long time, so they're getting kind of grotty. You don't really know whether there is something crazy going on outside or whether the guy that owns the bunker is just keeping them there against his will. So it's kind of creepy, but it, it's really cool. It's it's a really cool movie. I liked it a lot. Uh, the guy that plays this kind of creepster guy is a very good actor as well, which helps. That's not floating, is it? Oh, why do they float so high? They'd be really cool if they weren't so high. <gasps> oh, that's creepy. <gasps> oh, that's like, don't go, don't try and escape because the red light's on. And red lights always mean scary. So we'll put some of them in. Uh, oh, and we'll put this in. What are you? Ooh. Oh, but you're on which is annoying oh scary red light okay you're kind of getting rid of my red light though okay we'll, we'll use that in the plant room 
<gasps> Lap lights. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing, guys. I'm actually so hyped for this. Look at this weird tool. No one knows what it does, but the scientists do. The scientists do. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think they're called Power Folk in today's video. I'm kind of like, with the whole Power Lives thing, what are you? Parking stop. Okay, you can just like be placed outside. <gasps> Maybe to stop people getting in and out. Ooh, yeah, creepy. That's creepy, which is good. Um, I'm kind of like trying to be cautiously optimistic. Power Lives is obviously like, a lot of people are comparing it to The Sims. And I think it's really, really good that The Sims has a competitor because I think it's important for games to have competitors. Uh, otherwise, games can get complacent and uh, new features won't be added because, like, it's not that new features won't be added, but there's not as much rush to do stuff because, um, like, there's no pressure. So I think having a game that's a competitor to Sims is a really good thing because it means there'll be a little bit of pressure there and uh they'll try you know they'll, they'll probably be trying to compete with power lives which is a good thing uh because we should get it should help us the consumer um but i am kind of very aware that this game has a much smaller dev team i think it's actually one person however saying that stardew valley is one person is one guy that made the whole of stardew valley and that's obviously absolutely amazing. So that could mean very good things for our uh, power lives. Let me know what you guys think as well. Claire, uh, you can actually go four levels down. Oh my gosh. You know what we should do? Because I was watching Hunger Games recently and in District 13, they were like really far down. They were like super, super far down. So that when um, the capital bombed District 13, um, it didn't reach them because they were so deep into the ground. So I think we should go really far down. I think that's a really good idea. Um, any more weird stuff? Maybe like in Fallout. In Fallout, you kind of have the people that live on the surface have, have like been really like messed up and impacted by the radiation. And there's like weird stuff growing around. So maybe we can kind of do that as well i mean it already technically exists here because that's the mother plant but i don't want to link this to the mother it's just going to be a nuclear apocalypse i keep wanting to say holocaust which is awful but that's the word that always comes into my head for some reason um so yeah let me just get Ooh, what are you Ooh, you're kind of weird and creepy you could oh why not i have the the plants growing around the nuclear stuff here so it's like they're feeding off it, like in The Expanse. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't watched The Expanse, The Expanse is like the best TV on TV right now. It is so good. Get through season one. I didn't love season one, but then after that, it's the best TV. It is so good. Let me know if you watch The Expanse in the chat. Plumbella, watch her. Um, so you guys are talking about the baby out the crib thing. However, I know what you're talking about. There's a picture and it shows that somebody holding the baby. But then somebody else showed a picture of um, the fact that the Sims team always use that baby render whenever they're promoing stuff. So it might not be an out the crib baby. If it was, it would be really cool. I was chit chatting in the Discord about how, like, there's a lot of features. If you've only played Sims 4, you probably are like, I don't understand why people moan about the Sims 4. It's a really good game. But if you have played some of the previous Sims games, there is so much missing. Like, there is so much missing. Like, whims don't really compare to, like, the hopes and fears that were in the previous Sims games. Um, like, they were so in-depth. Like, if your kid was getting bullied at school, they would, like, one of their hopes would be to see, like, the ghost of their bully, which was, like, a really cheeky way of being like, I don't want this person to live anymore. Which sounds harsh, but the older games were a lot darker, so it kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, they, they just had like a, there was a lot more personality, there was burglars, there was firemen, so if you had a fire, the firemen would actually come round. I know the Sims team have talked about potentially adding uh, burglars and stuff back again, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, apparently, some people think that there might be a, the baby might stop being an object. I honestly don't know if it will though, because it's just a render. 
And honestly, the renders that the Sims team use to promo the game anyway, I don't think look particularly like the game. So I'm putting it on the lids like they've been feeding off it. I don't know why I'm just getting... I, I like to get really into it when I do this kind of thing. So yeah, what's this? Oh, a blinker meter. I want to have loads of programs on like the first couple of floors that are like trying to keep the people in there alive. So I think the bed won't be on this floor. Let's make this smaller and let's make us live on the bottommost floor. I was thinking of having, you know, for like the plants. I know you don't need to have light, sunlight for plants in The Sims. If you grow them inside and they're sheltered, I think they'll grow anyway. But I was thinking of having like, you know, like a patch that's like glass and shines all the way down to where we grow the plants. It would mean that someone would have to come out and clean it every now and again, but maybe they've got like a robot that does that for them. When are you doing mini magic? Um, I do plan to do another mini magic stream. The thing is, it's actually in the same world as get to uni. And the issue I have, uh, sorry, back to uni. And the issue I have is that uni keeps advancing like when I play mini magic. And what happens then is um, they fail everything. So I don't know if it needs to be like a little bit of... Um, does that look kind of weird? I'm thinking of doing like a little half wall on top. Um, oh, it's because I've got that on. There we go. A little half wall just to go around the top. I think that might look a bit better. Um, wait, let me just draw it. Fine, whatever. Um... What was I saying? I've completely lost my train of thought. How annoying am I? Um, what was I talking about? Turn off aging. Yeah, but aging doesn't stop time advancing. That's what I was talking about. So yeah, I kind of need to... I, I'm one episode ahead of uni, but I need to get a couple more ahead. Or else it's just going to be kind of weird. I don't want them to keep failing everything because, let's face it, they're kind of struggling enough as it is. So, <laughs> I need to stop them from struggling anymore. I'm gonna have this all grown across the floor because I think it'll look better than a weird roof. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait, let me switch Stranger Things back on. Come on, game. You don't have struggle at the moment. I need to get my update as soon as possible. How are you guys doing this week anyway? Solar radiation. No, the radiation is going to be from the secret lab. How are you guys doing? It's another week of weirdness. I know that Scotland, I think, is going to be opening up sooner than England is. I'm in England, so we will be waiting longer, but our prime minister is in Egypt, so, I mean, that should come as no surprise to any of us, really, at this point, should it? Uh, let's put some spills on there as well. Love a good spill. Ooh, lovely. Um... I, I'm on an app called Hello Talk where you can talk to people around the world and people in Korea that because obviously I'm learning Korean so I'm trying to talk to people in Korean um they are like completely back to normal they're like going out having food vibing and I have forgotten what my mother's face looks like okay that's a little bit of an exaggeration but we're definitely not back to normal here yet are we it's ooh that's just really called an air purifier oh, I've already got one but that is an air purifier, which I thought was kind of cool. I, can't, I keep getting the dirty versions of everything. <gasps> Someone in the chat's getting a puppy! Yes, get ready to not sleep properly for a really long time! Yeah, puppies are really hard, but they're awesome. I hope you enjoy your puppy. Okay, I know this looks- this bit looks weird. Which... How do I get the cool doors? Isn't there like a locked- there we go. Oh, you're a bit wide. Oh, apparently the Sims team are making it so you can play stuff in between tiles. Which would be so cool. I really hope they do that. Okay, I'm going to make this one wider um, because I really want to use that door. It's important, okay? It's imperative that we use that door. There we go. Because uh, this door's really cool, right? Let's use the tatty one because it's on the outside. And we'll use all these doors inside and is there any like nuclear windows is this a strangerville pack as if that's from stranger what this is the windows they gave you for oh oh no oh they're just basic windows ah can't bothered with that okay um i think i don't know why you said you wouldn't be babies i'm you're really good with puppies i've always been really good with animals though um babies are different i just feel like babies are a different vibe um, two animals. I don't know why. I just do. 
I, I always feel a bit lost on what to do. Oh, look at this one. It's been all taken over. <laughs> I'm going to put this one outside like it never got made in and now it's been taken over. There we go. And is there any like weird ground I can put down or anything? You know, like anything to put outside? No, they didn't give us anything. Ooh, some weird dead trees. Yes. Um, yeah, I find with... I find babies kind of tough. I, I don't mind just holding them when they're all small. They smell good. Baby's head smell really nice. Um, did they give us any rocks? Oh, yes. Wait, did they not give us any like really big environmental rocks? You know, like, to put, like that. How do I get that? Are you just... How do I get this one? Surely that exists somewhere. Where's that? Search a bit more debug. Should be there, right? Oh, we got these as well. Um, here in Denmark, almost everyone has started school and some cafes and shops and other stuff is opened. Oh my gosh, we're over 2,000 viewers! This is my first time! First time ever over 2,000 viewers! Yay! Oh, I've been waiting for this day for ages. This is so cool. Hello! Welcome 2,000 people! Oh my gosh, this is perfect timing because... Oh, we're having a panic right now. I'm freaking out. Okay. I'm going to put some hypey music on to celebrate us getting over 2,000 viewers. If I had learned uh, how to do the Renegade at this point, I would be playing it right now. Obviously, I haven't. I'm sorry. I'm very busy. Uh, we'll put some chill music on. Is this chill? Yeah, this is chill. This is chill. Let's turn it down a little bit. I don't want to deafen you guys. 2,000 viewers! Hello! Woo! At least it's shown on my side, which means it hit it at one point, so... That is amazing! Hello! Welcome! 2,000 people! That, that is a lot of people! Imagine that many people! It's really cool that I get to hang out with 2,000 people! Um, and I get to show you something now, which is, you guys were asking, we've got an Emma, we've got a James, we've got an Ali, wait, I should make them jump, we've got an Emma, we've got a James, we've got a um, Ali emo, and we've got a Jesse emo, and of course we've got me, this is me, watch out! However, you guys were asking, where is Emily? And today, the fashion queen has finally arrived to grace your screens. It is supermodel Emily. <laughs> she can join the gang along as well. There she is in her beautiful little beret, looking like a fashion icon, but also look at that face. That is the face of a businesswoman. That is the face of a first lady. So she has gone ahead and joined as well. Uh, is that still really loud? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It feels loud in my ears. There we go. Uh, so yeah, these are all by one of the mods on here that you'll probably be able to see in the chat. This is Huffle Perks. Uh, she's awesome and she does all of these beautiful um, little emoji things. Um, I wanna make them like available to use on Twitch. But Twitch still haven't partnered with me yet, which is real sad. I don't know why they haven't, but I can't get it. They won't do it, so it's fine, whatever. We might switch back to YouTube at this rate, because YouTube's actually added loads of new features. Um, so, you know, we could we could end up switching back to YouTube. I know I've literally just built an audience up on here, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but, but yeah, we might be switching back to YouTube and they've added like loads of member benefits and stuff so maybe we'll end up back there there we go the whole gang is at the bottom which means that the next thing that is going to be joining the gang is going to be um the hubbies and wifeys so we'll get a roxy we'll get a salma we'll get president taylor and we'll get maxed so you can have subscribers without being partnered i know but because i'm already on the road to subscriber i can't become an affiliate it just won't let me click it it just won't work it's really annoying so um yeah huffle pucks love in the chat and we will get a salma rooney we'll get a roxy we'll get max and we'll get a taylor next so get hyped get excited to see that who is your bias in 17 someone just said um I literally was watching 17 videos the other day. There is someone I like the most, but I've forgotten who it is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's switch back into the game. Let's lose the music again, but awesome for the 2000 subs. And let's go back to a little bit of similar Reno's. The idea was that I would, like a bunch of them would be available for everybody. And then the new ones would go into like the subscriber tiers. So if you were subscribed, you would get the extra emojis and stuff to use, which I thought would be really cool. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, they're here! What? 
How did I not see this before? Where is the lob from here? Is, is, is it behind there? Is the lob meant to be over here somewhere? Oh, it's there. Okay. So if the lob is there, I feel like to survive that nuclear blast, you would probably need it to have a rock to like shelter you somewhat. So I'm going to put this here and say that the rock formation itself helped protect. Protect and but not attack. Just do unprotect. There we go. So this should be a fun. Fun vibes. Oh yay, this is way more atmospheric. Okay, fun. Claire, how do I join the Discord? You follow this link and then you uh, follow the rulies. There's rules on how to get into the Discord. Um, oh man, how did I not see all this stuff before? Thick, thick and blind is what I was. Oh, we didn't do, um... does that look weird? I don't know if it now looks a little bit weird. Sorry, I'm very distractible today. It's because as well I know that the power live stream is happening at five. So I'm like, we need to get finished before then. Uh, did they give us any other weird stuff to put out? No, I was thinking like, oh, that, that is what I was thinking. Something like that. <gasps> but on top of it so we can listen out and tell when, um, when things are back to normal again. Yes. Oh my gosh. I know it's real basic, but I don't want like a big one. Because, um, nuclear, nuclear bunkers should, bunklers, nuclear bunkers should be small, okay. <laughs> Bunkleroonies, oh my gosh, yes. Wait, can I make it look all destroyed? Oh, I wanted to make it look all destroyed. Wait, is that a destroyed one? Oh, this is kind of a vibe though. I love this kind of stuff. Really cool. Let's put some of these little grass strands. Sorry, I'm going to get inside. I just, I kind of like quite enjoy making the outsides of stuff. Um, but in a really haphazard, just throw a load of stuff together kind of vibe. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can make them wear hazmat suits when they go outside. That would be so cool. Am I posting a video today? Yes, I am. Uh, today's video is gonna be, look, I'm gonna have it so that some plant life has returned, by the way. Like, as if maybe things are starting to get a little bit safer, or maybe some plants are just better at surviving. Uh, the vid today's video is gonna be bit life. And yet again, I had a, I had a... Thing, like a vibe for the episode and then I got thrown another curveball. This one though happened to be a millionaire. <laughs> that is all I will say. So yeah, exciting times ahead. C kind of a crazy episode as they so often are. Let's face it. Okay. This is a big space to try and fill. I'm not sure if I should be trying to fill. <gasps> what was I like a minute ago? This has nothing to do with the mother and now I'm like... Where should I put the mother? Let's put her in the water tower like she's destroying the water supply. It's meant to be scary and dangerous outside, okay? It just is. It's always the case in Fallout. The world is a dangerous and scary place. Okay. I really want to get inside, so I don't want to spend... What is that? Weird. I don't want to spend too much longer on it. Also realized I forgot to... Ooh! Turned over. Army truck is way more interesting than a army truck be in the right way direction there we go um i forgot to do our little everyone do at the same time because we're like uh peach wait peachy love that's what that means peach love i know love would then switch into a completely we're not doing sign language anymore however peach love there we go have to do it in everyone so sorry i forgot at the beginning there it's still a new feature to our streams so Okay, so do you guys remember how I made the, um, the, like, secret bunker look when we did the zombies thing? I'm kind of thinking we do similar-ish sort of vibes to that. Oh, yes. Wait, what's that? Oh! <gasps> what happened there? What is that? Why does it do that? <gasps> oh, that's so cool. What happens if I make it smaller? Ah, uh, it's really cool, but I don't think it's going to work for what we're doing today, but still enjoyable and nice. Enjoyable to see. Love to see it. Okay, there we go. Um, Claire, do you have memberships on YouTube? No, please, if you're on my U YouTube, don't join membership at the moment because I don't have anything planned. I, I don't, there's nothing extra you will get, basically, so I don't want you guys to do it now and then be disappointed or like feel like I'm trying to scam you. Please don't do it. I think it's set to on. It keeps resetting as on. I'm not doing that. It just does it. I don't know if it's like a network thing. Um, but 
you guys have been asking about it a little bit more. So I'm kind of thinking that I will start doing a little bit for it. However, I don't yet. So please don't, please don't click it yet. Because you won't be getting anything, like, beneficial. Look at this thing. I'm just, like, putting everything down now. We've just kind of lost all semblance of normality. But I was thinking, actually, you would need um, something to connect to the water tower. So, these pipes are going to the water tower. So that we can get water, you know? Oh, what should go here? Maybe some kind of machine? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yes, that should go there. Absolutely. Um, we're gonna go inside soon. Don't worry. I always get so scared that I'm boring you guys in these streams. So I'm like, panic! Yes, save. Save, save, save. Put the hazmat suit on the inside. Absolutely. Claire, what is your rising sign? I don't know. Uh, but you said say your date of birth. My... Rising, my date of birth is the 6th of August. I'm a Leo. I feel like I'm the least leo we ever. Um, but I am a Leo. I feel like whoever was giving me my star sign kind of got it wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Just does not really... I don't feel like a Leo, I guess. But I am one. Uh, so yeah. Riddle me that. So tell me what my, that means my rising sign is. Claire, what is this for? This is for our Fallout 4 or Fallout 3. I don't know which one I played. In fact, should I just find out now? Because it's going to annoy me. Uh, Fallout 3. Yeah, I played Fallout 3. It's Fallout 3 that I played. It is Fallout 3. I recognize the artwork. Yeah, never bored with Claire. You're, um, you're more of a sun sign. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Cancer. Not the water tower. Oh yeah, that's a- okay, that's a radio tower, isn't it? Um, what's my rising sign? I'm interested. I need to do some more pipes to, like, link up to the water tower, don't I? Um... There we go. Um, where was those little pipies? What's this? Just a- just an old shtick! Um, how do I- No, I want some little pipes. Pipes, please. Get some grass, cause what? Ooh, graffiti. Um, are you a pipe? Oh wow, you're what? Are you? You're tiny. What are you little flea? A swab? Oh, it's like a swab that you use on the inside of your mouth. Like if you were testing for coronavirus. <laughs> Stop saying that, Claire. You will get demonetized. Yet you say it in every single, every single stream. I say it. I just, I don't know. I can't help myself. Literally cannot help myself. Actually, you know where we should put those? Oh, you can't really fit them. I was gonna say they should spray you as you come in. Because these are like, you know, those things that like hose you down. We should put them in here so that you get like decontaminated when you come inside. And it would be like, decontamination is in progress. Stand by for like, what does it say when you get in the chip on Mass Effect? It says like a decontamination thing. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it says. Stand by, Exo Presley has the deck. <laughs> Oh, I love Mass Effect. I want to do a little cry when I think about it. Don't... What? Uh, Claire, how long are you going to stream for? Probably until five. Probably until five. Use your birth sign to find your place in the rising. I'm a Cancer Sun, a Taurus Moon, and a Scorpio rising. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, is it okay to press the links to CC in the chat? Um, oh, put the graffiti on the sign at the front. You genius. You can't post links in the chat. I just put it there as a safety measure because I can't... Like, control uh, what links people put in there. And I don't want anyone to put any, like, dangerous or harmful links. Not that I think any of you guys would. But this is the internet. You can never be too careful, can you? So, yeah, it's for your guys' safety. Always thinking of my peaches, you know? Okay. Got that graffiti and... Oh, this is... Wait, where did it just go? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> uh, I love the idea of graffiti on the sign. Like, they all moved to this place because it offered them a better chance of... Uh, a better tomorrow. Uh, a, a futuristic future. No, a better future for you and your family. And instead, they all just got nuclear, you know? That is Fallout vibes to a T. So there we go. We got some radiation. No, we got some graffiti on the sign. Uh, what else can I put? Some. I've already got loads of grass. What about some big, big old grass? Some grass that's been impacted by the radiation. And now it's huge. Wow, scary grass. Okay, what was I trying to do? I, I just want to connect these pipes because in my head that just makes things... I don't know, there has to be some logic to the madness, you know? 
Otherwise, it's just madness. Um, how do I get the stupid pipe? <laughs> Where is it gone? Pipe. Where ya? Where you hiding? I thought it was next to the rocks. I'll tell you what, I'll place some more rocks in the meantime. The rocks that shielded us from the worst of the blast. Look, came this way. Whoosh, hit all that. Scary grass. Never knew someone would say that. Sims just posted a trailer. They did? What, on Twitter? Uh, let's have a look. Interesting that they post a trailer on the same day as the Power Live stream, right? Let me check. Oh, I can't see. Oh, one minute ago. Okay. I'm gonna switch to Chrome and we will check out this trailer together. Twitter quality is never great, but let's give it a go. Finally, back home in beautiful Evergreen. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What happened to this place? Do they actually like living like this? You go to university wow. for a few years the and the whole town falls in love with trash. Huh. <laughs> oh, they did trash woo woos. Disgusting. They no. Oh, we can do better. I just have to show them how. Can you guys First hear step, it? Reduce my eco footprint. Solar panels, wind turbines, a few more updates, and I'm off. Oh, the I love the solar panels. Already. Oh, that's and awesome. Part, getting my neighbors to want a cleaner, more sustainable city, too. Fortunately, my buddy Knox is a real advocate for the eco lifestyle. Red flex, uh, I know. Go. Okay, so this is the same as Solani when you go around and talk plans. about it, isn't it? Like a water shut off day. What a shut off day? I you thought you, you wanted people to be less though. stinky. Sorry, Diane. Oh my gosh, Knox's shame in Diane. To change this barren lot into a community garden. He's got big dreams of growing sustainable food. Oh, this like is cool. Vertical gardens that <gasps> take less space. Please explain the meat slab. Harvesting insects for a crunchy alternative to meat. Ah, no! But it's not Horrible. Up to, him. It's up <laughs> to the people. And it looks like they voted for a community maker space. A makerspace. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Get over it. <laughs> a makerspace is great. We don't have to throw away everything just because we don't want it anymore. Upcycle it. Ah. I love me some homegrown, ultra organic, fresh farm to table fizzy juice. Okay. That's and these not... hand dipped artists even as a vegan. That than sounds they gross. <laughs> All these makers have gotten the attention of the local entrepreneur, Bess. She's asking others to invest in her next big venture. This is venture. a long trailer, jeez. Bess works from home as a civil designer. She invents products that help uh, the new, new career, the civil designer, work from she home as well. She found objects for parts and then uses this awesome fabricator to make them. This thing is fire. I gotta try it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> new death? Oh, that could be a new death right there. Part to Bess. Her inventions are going to make this community a beacon of sustainability. Big changes oh, can start small. When the music kicked in, I got goosebumps. <laughs> you can impact your world too. <gasps> so I saw this gift the other day with the um, what's it called? The Northern Lights, the Aurora, which I think is really, really cool. What did you guys think of that, by the way? Let me know in the chat. But apparently, if you're in the Goth Mansion, you'll be able to see the Northern Lights. So that's pretty cool. Are you gonna start a new series? Yes, we will get a new series for that. Um, vegan, vegans and the Sims. Yeah, there's a meat slab. I saw a meat slab and I was really grossed out by it. They were cutting it, but like, it's not because it's meat that it grossed me out. Like, I, I ate meat for like 25 years. The thing that grossed me out was that it was like all in the open and just like chained in and it was just a big slab of meat and they were cutting it and it would look it looked really disgusting like there's like kebab shops in the uk and they've always freaked me out because the meat is just like out there just like vibing and like i don't i don't like that i feel like it's not very hygienic um so the meat slab like freaked me out for the same reason <laughs> uh but yeah what did you guys think it looked kind of cool right it did look quite cool i'm hoping that they've added a lot more to it and it's like it has a good vibe to it. Um, but yeah, that was cool. It's cool that they told us about like the new um, the new career and stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Because I like to absorb your opinions and then pretend they're my own. No, I'm only joking. How am I? <laughs> uh, can I put like a little... Oh, the... don't fall down. He has just some tape to tell you not to fall down. Okay, I like that. That feels like haphazard. Haphazard. Love it. 
And I still don't have a stupid pipe, do I? Let me just get this pipe and then we're going inside. We're going inside, gang. Uh, when did you become a vegan? I'm in my third... So I've done a year, and I've done another year, and I'm now during my third year of being a vegan. We went vegan halfway through a Chinese takeaway in New York. And if you've had a Chinese takeaway in New York, you will know. By the way, I'm just realizing this sign should be a lot bigger if we're trying to tell survivors to come here. Because, like, who's going to be paying attention to that little midget sign? Oh, no, I kind of preferred it, though. Okay, we're going back. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, we were just watching, like, a documentary about the environmental impact. As you guys know, I'm pretty into, like, environmental vibes and just trying to make a better future. <gasps> Is that a different kind of one? Are they both the same? They're the same, aren't they? I don't know why this two. Um, so, yeah, I just... I just kind of wanted to do something to... I don't know, you guys know I'm not really bobbed too much about the idea of having Babalaroos one day, but if I do, I should at least be trying to make the world the best possible place for them. So, that's kind of where it comes from. Just want to make the world a better place than where you left it, and unfortunately it feels like a losing battle quite often, let's not lie. Um, but you never know. You never know. Wow, that looks like the... Is, that, is there a Pokemon that looks like that? It looks like that Pokemon that's like a cactus. Are you going to use Kai and Kenai? I don't know which sims to use. I was thinking of moving Kenai there and then making or adding one of your guys' townies as a new main female, female character. Because you guys definitely prefer series with a main female character, which is fine. I kind of like playing as a female character as well. Um, and I thought she could be like the eco -y one. Like we saw from that trailer then, but it would be like one of our sims. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the vibe I was thinking. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I thought that could be kind of cool. Plus I like the idea, like, you know how Palm wasn't related to us at all? So it didn't, there wasn't as much repercussions for what I did with her. I liked that, so I kind of want something like that again. I liked Palm. I feel like she got, not everyone was a big fan of the Palm, but I, li I liked Palm, so... Uh, okay, I'm nearly done. I'm just like finding all new stuff to add and then I get really distracted. Which is the story of my life. I'm so distractible. Um, plus, I like cactuses <laughs> and succulents. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and add a bunch. Okay, I feel like because the, the reason I've done this is because these are the pipes that supply the water. And I feel like the pipes would probably leak a bit over time. So any um, life that we had would stick to the pipes. So there's method again to the madness. This all makes sense in my head. It's not just like idle nonsense. Since Alonso, Zoe and Alice are in the Batsuni series, Kenai and Kai should be in the new one. I feel like Kai is very close to Kenai, so he would definitely come and hang. I don't know. I just want to see a bit more Kenai's beautiful face, you know? Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to see a bit of Kenai facing? He's got a great facing. Um, and I want him to have a happy ending to his life. So there's a bit of that too. Sorry, I'm just making this match because I don't like the gap. So there we go. Okay. So this is like the top. Now, finally, we can get inside. So there's the red light from the top. I don't really want to do much more than that because... Uh, I like the spook factor that it brings. Like, until you get into the bunker, it's kind of scary. Uh, and then when you get inside, you realize <laughs> reality is even scarier. Uh, that is how we'll do it. I'm going to keep doing this as well because I never get to use them. And let's face it, they're kind of sad and creepy looking. Can I change the color of the steps? No, I have to do it this way, don't I? Because uh, I never looked at the other colors. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Nah, I kind of like... Orange is like very feisty, isn't it? So we'll go orange. Okay, so you guys say I can go four levels down. How many levels down am I right now? One, two, three. Can I just copy this entire room and do it down one more? Oh, is this new? Showing you where things are above? Because that's really handy. I still got it wrong, but... <laughs> it was handy. How do I get it directly below? There. There. And then I just need to copy that staircase. I'm just going to see how many down I can do. Stop it. There we go. Um, and then... Oh, did you hear the bird? Wait. Sorry. When I hear birds, 
It could be Q, or it could be Oliver's got him. Give me a sec, I'm really scared that Oliver's doing something to a bird. Okay, give me a sec. I'm back. <laughs> I can't see anything. E yeah, e was you just guys just watching Evie? I should have put it on full screen so that you guys could uh, watch Evie. <laughs> Lexi's about. Lexi, do you want to come and say hi? Lexi, what's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> it's a Lexi! Um, I couldn't see any bird getting harmed, so don't worry. Hello! <laughs> Giggle. Your baby look how far back she's like get your big stupid face away from my tiny cute face you need all the kisses all the kisses in the world all of them um so cute she is cute uh okay can i go down i can go down another this just feels like madness at this point really why doesn't it copy the stairs by the way oh wait i probably can't do another stairs can i i can't but we're- Oh! To get there! But then I can't go down another level. Wow! Okay, that's really cool. I've never been this deep before. This is the furthest mankind has ever gone in my Sims game. So this is really cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, don't you think that would feel awful? Like, I'd be- Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> there we go. Look. Look, look, look. Wow. I'd be so freaked out. I'd feel like- way too deep underground. I would hate that. I'd absolutely hate that. Uh, sorry, I do that to you guys a lot. I put you on full screen. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really creepy to me. I'd feel like, pr like pressure almost. Like I know that it's not gonna, the ground above isn't suddenly gonna come on my head, like falling down on my head. But like, I'd be really scared that it could do. Even though lo logically I know that can't happen, I'd still get really freaked out. So. What I'm thinking is, on the bottom floor, we have another one of these doors. And that will be like, um... It's so annoying, I can't put that in the middle. I'm gonna have to make the bottom floor one wider, aren't I? Uh, that will get you from the possible decontamination zone to the actual bunker itself. So I don't know, when, when we have this person that's all the way on the top floor and is like, Let us in! I don't know how we're supposed to know that. Maybe we'll have to have like um, a camera and a monitor and we're gonna be do that instead. Um, can't see, what can you see? You should be able to see now. Uh, yeah guys, please don't check your peaches. We'll do them at the end, okay? Yeah, did anybody else notice anything from the Sim stream, by the way, that I perhaps didn't? It was pretty cool that we could watch that together. Like a big happy family, which we totally are. Okay, we're gonna keep the living conditions kind of small. And quite rabbit warren because I think that will be quite cool. Uh, have we got an Emily avatar? Yeah, we do. There she is! Hello! She's just vibing. But she's not. She's actually just going crazy. But yeah, we've got an Emily one now, which is really cool. And uh, Huffle Pugs will post it on her Twitter later with... Um, she might have already done it, actually, with a watermark. In case you guys wanted to get a little bit of a closer look. So... I, like I said, I'm keeping things small in here. Small and compact and like, or everything has a purpose. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, because it is, of course, a government created um, like little radiation zone. Plus the ones in Fallout were kind of dark. So if you guys have never played Fallout, um, the game, like I said, is basically like a nuclear uh, apocalypse game. 
And um, the idea is you wait, you, you will be released onto the surface after several generations of your family have lived. Is that side longer than that side? It is, isn't it? I'm not just losing my mind there. That side's long, longer. That's better. Um, yeah, after several generations, your family have lived underground. You will get to be released um, above ground. And the shelter you were in, the fallout shelter that you were in, um, was kind of okay. But some of them were really messed up. So they used them to, like, test stuff. Because uh, it was like, I think it's the US government. And the creators of the game obviously thought that if the US government had this, uh, like, opportunity to trial, like, hundreds and hundreds of these underground fallout shelters that they would uh, like, experiment and try stuff out on the people living in them which is really messed up um but it is quite a dark game so yours is fine but some of them are super like scary like they release like gases in there uh or they like messed with the population and yeah just kind of like quite creepy vibes um and I think you can explore some of the other ones and like they're quite scary like the, some of them still have things living in them and it's just all really scary. I, the game was too scary for me to actually play. I couldn't play um, Fallout. And too much of a soft baby. I got too scared and probably did a little cry. Let's face it. I thought it would be quite cool to light things using these because they've got like a creepy light to them. Although maybe the main room can have this because it's, that's really creepy. And then... If we've got like bedroom, rec room, and then maybe we have quite a big grow room. And that will be here. So if we do decide to do that like light panel thing, which I think would be really cool if like a robot is the one that did it, it would be like, wait, I know a better way to do this. Because the grow room will have to grow all of the food and sustenance for this person. What was the movie about the creepy guy I told us about earlier? It's called... I think it's called 49 Cloverfield Lane. You know the Cloverfield series? You might not do. There's a series called Cloverfield, um, which is... It started off with a Cloverfield film, which is like a held camera film. It's actually really good. Um, oh, you're a bit far along. Maybe it doesn't all get the light. That's fine. That can be even better, actually. Um... But I just need to know where it is, kind of vibes. And then I need to put the glass floor, don't I? Wait, is there a glass floor? There is. Comes with island living. You guys taught me this. So let me get the island living stuff up. Um, so yeah, the first one's really good. It's like all this video camera footage. And they're like going to a party and there's like all this kind of interrelationship drama going on. And then halfway through the party, something crazy happens and they all start like looking out the windows like what is going on and all of new york has been attacked by something that came out the ocean but you can't really get a good view of it for a lot of the film because they're just holding these like old school cameras kind of like um save yes kind of like the blair witch project is that kind of vibe so it's really cool like i really really like that film and um, I think it was really interesting. I don't think anyone had... And also, this is a long time ago, but I remember when they released the film, they did like this marketing campaign where they'd put stuff online that you thought was like a real... It had actually happened. Like all these rumors about the government hiding a conspiracy and there was like these websites. And like there was like a burger company in the... I think it was a burger company in the movie that they created a website for in real life. And like... If you typed in stuff on the burger company and got into like the back end, you'd find out all these secrets. It was like, honestly, it was so clever. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> it was so clever and it was really, really cool. And um, yeah, it was just like a really cool campaign they did. Yes, this is what we need. Okay, brilliant. Let's go for gray because it's the government and the government's boring. So gray. No, you're not in line with all the others. So I hate you. Uh, you go there. Okay, and get rid of that weird one in the middle. <gasps> Wait, did it go? Okay, brill. So this is how we'll get the light to the plants. Pretty cool, right? Let me put that there. I can get one more in. And fingers crossed, if this works, that light will go all the way down. I can't get that one in place. There we go. <gasps> this could be really cool, you guys. Really cool. Um, oh, I love this. 
I'd hate to live here. Like, this would be my idea, idea of hell. I need the sunlight. I'm a sunshine girl. I'm, actually, it's a complete lie. I avoid the sunshine at all costs. But I like it to be there. <laughs> um, so I couldn't live in a little fallout shelter like this. The challenge is going to be so fun though, right? No, it's not. It's going to be dark and depressing and she, the character's probably not going to survive. But that's the fun of it, okay? Oh, wait. Is this... We're here. Okay, does the light get all the way down? What about different times a day? That's daytime. Is that morning? Oh, it's this. Get rid of you. Okay. Does the light manage to get the whole way? Oh, you get like a quarter of it. Oh no, you only get... You get a little bit of it. That is all you get. So what I'll do... <laughs> I'll give a few extra lights in there. You know those ones that go around the side? We'll do a little bit of that too, don't worry. Um, is this challenge going to be on YouTube or Twitch? I think I'll do the challenge on YouTube. Um, it'll probably be just a short series, like one or two episodes. But I think it could be fun. I don't think anyone's done this before, but let's face it, I'm not a particularly original person, so someone probably has. Um, but this is going to be my version. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's put some- Oh, yes! That has the creepy kind of vibes to it, doesn't it? Creepy vibes! When they're not all at the same level, like, my brain just cries. So I have to put them all at the same level. Okay. Looking cool! <laughs> Looking tragic! Which is exactly what we want. Um, and I don't think there's a two-door, is there? Oh! Would you need one of these here? Maybe this one's in a bit of a better nick. This is like the plant room one. Because you always see, like, plant rooms featured on this kind of stuff, don't you? Like, it's important to have a place to grow stuff. Because uh, human beings can't really survive very well without growed stuff. So, hopefully they can go through that. But that's the planty room where we grow our planties. So, let's put some little grow boxes in there. If I put that there, can they reach the back bit? I hope so. Wait. Like, can they reach all of that? I don't think they'll be able to reach the very back, will they? You need a key card for that door. It's fine because um, I can put... You should place test this on stream. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, the hallways don't have any floor. That is correct. Um, <laughs> you foolish fuck. There we go. Can I do... Wait. There we go. For some reason, just doing that gives them floor. Um, I think what I'll have to do, though, I'm spitting, is get rid of this so that they can walk through. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because they'll treat that like a debug object, but I need to delete- Yeah, 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 that's how- that's how we need to do things. Same as up here. I need to delete. Oh! Wait, I'll put an archway in there. Give me a hot sec. Because they need to be able to get in. So as long as I put an archway that you can't really see, then they'll be able to go through it. Yeah, that'll work now. Because now there's a gap. Okay. You guys! You guys, saving my builds every day. And let's just put this metal case in on the outside. Metal to keep protect them. Let's face it, that would not protect you. You'd need, like... I think to protect yourself from radiation, you need, like... Like steel or iron that's like maybe like steel that's like really thick the dogs the do <laughs> the doors aren't debug oh they might be able to use them just fine then the dogs aren't debug either though guys important to know and how should we make things look inside probably quite sciency right oh man this is so i would die in here i would full on die in here i'm thinking Okay, does anybody- has anybody done a garden in shape like this before and knows the way it works? What do you guys think? Um... Because I might even only be able to do two, which would be a real shame. Unless I do it in smaller things, but I like the big ones. Uh, how will this work? I don't think it's gonna work, is it? But they're gonna have to grow a fair amount to survive. Um, what do you reckon? Will they be able to reach them? Use the smaller planters. I know, but there's just like one then. What about if I put 
four big and two small. Would that work? Because I wanted to kind of put stuff on the walls, like hydro phonetics or whatever, that made it look like everything was getting watered. I know I'm putting way too much thought into this, but uh, yeah, I was kind of wanted everything to look like it was had science behind it. Science is the answer, guys. Uh, so yeah. Um, what would it be? It'd be like a pipe, wouldn't it? How many pipe type things we got? Yeah, okay, this is what I was thinking. So like everything looks kind of plumbed in. Maybe this is that maybe this will be what stops them getting anywhere though. And then those pipes like lead again, this is me overthinking stuff so much. Uh but the pipes will lead all the way to the top so that they'll be able to get water and stuff. <laughs> we sure love to overthink. Yeah, so that pipe goes up there and then goes round the back and gets to there. You are not on the right square. You need to be... Wait. <gasps> Do as you're told. There. There we go. Okay. So now it's kind of annoying that I've put a big old rock in the way. Maybe I should move the rock back a little bit. Just a wee bit. And then I can put one more on. There we go. And a robot cleans this before you guys ask. A robot, okay, comes along and does his little cleaning scrubby brush and scrubs the whole thing. I'm just gonna put like a little little thing here to stop things blowing on it and wrecking everything. Uh, can you remove the floor, stain just the ground and they can plant there? Yeah, we could do that, we could do that. I don't know if it feel yeah, I kind of, I definitely envisaged it with like planters though for some reason. And obviously I'm quite attached to this idea because I'm struggling to give it up. <laughs> there, to stop things blowing in. And that little robot cleans it. Wait, is there not a Roomba in this game? Should I put a Roomba that like, uh, that's like the robot? Is it, oh, Hangul. Um, I should put like a little Roomba that goes around and like cleans everything. Surely there's like a cleaning bot. I'm sure there's a cleaning bot. Um, I've never had a Roomba either. I've never once had the Roomba in this game and I don't know why. And whenever I see the gif of the cat, um, like, you know, going around on the Roomba and I'm like, why have I not done this? That's so cool. How do I get the Roomba, guys? What is it called? It's in Cats and Dogs. Okay, thank you. Let's get everything that's Cats and Dogs. And it should be in there. Cats and Dogs! Where you at? Little, was it, is it called a name? Wally cleans it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, can it go through doors, the Roomba thing? How have I never got this before? I'm such a garbage simmer. Um... Where is it? I should definitely put a robot in there like her only friend is a robot. Where is it? It's in MISC Tech. Tech. Electronics. MISC. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Yes! A robot cleans it. That is some full on world building. Full on world building right there. You've got to do it. You've got to do it or else you've just got an empty world. Thank you guys for helping me. Thank you. Um, and then can I get the servo? I think because I've got debug on, I might be able to. Oh, oh my gosh, he's so creepy. He's so creepy. I know that's his tombstone, but ignore it. I'm going to pretend that's where he... Oh, okay. That looks way too much I can earn. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at him when he's powered down. Can I get him in any other colours or does he have to be blue? Okay, he has to be blue. Okay, that's her only friend. That is her only friend. <laughs> Scary. And let's go ahead and do a bedroom. So what I was thinking for the bedroom, I'll come back to the other room, don't worry. Um, but what I was thinking for the bedroom is it would be super basic, but then we'd have like a bit above the bed that had like all like pictures and personality um, because it's still a human being. So I thought we could have like a bunch of that stuff in there and it would look kind of cool. Let's save that for the storage room. Oh my gosh, a bar. <laughs> Maybe not. Listening equipment. 
Okay, I think that needs to go in here. So we can try and... Will that block the door, though? Have I maybe gone a little bit too small? Let's try it. Let's try it. What was this room? She needs a bathroom as well. Maybe the bathroom should come off the bedroom. Or maybe it should be in the bedroom. I know it's gross, but like she's the only one living here. So it doesn't really matter. But then what if we get the friendo? Uh, in the university park, there are a lot of helpful robots. Claire, you just called it then, said they are human. Sorry, it's not the robot that we'll be playing. We'll, there will be a person, don't worry. It will not go through the doors, the archways only. That's fine, because I feel like the robot should have to stay in here and like she'll wake up on a morning and she'll be like, Sovo, give me an update. And Sovo will be like, I'm detecting 49% radiation at surface level, oxygen levels at 16%. That is what I'm thinking, you know? Not the robot's a she. The person we're going to move in is going to be a she. Um, just because, like I said, I like playing with grills. So where can we put the toilet? Maybe coming off here like this. Yeah, I, I don't know why everything's so far apart, but I kind of like it. Okay, there we go. Uh, but obviously we don't need that. And then off this one, I'm going to put the kitchen. Kitchen's going to be basic because it's a one person vibe. So there we go. I might make these rooms one bigger. Or two bigger like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, storage room, main bunker, grow room. What more do you need? It's practically home. <laughs> Cody would have been so good for this. So good for this. Let's face it. He would have absolutely smashed this. You know he would have done. Um, but it's not his challenge. It's some other poor person's challenge. Okay. The shower. Should we have a really high-tech shower? Or a really low-tech shower? Does it have like a... Oh, it's only got this one. I thought it might have, you know, like one of those robo showers, but no, basic. Wow, there's a lot of doors in this room. Uh, basic sad shower. It's probably been used by generations of people. No toilet in Strangerville Park, that's annoying. Ooh. DIY lighting, oh my gosh. It's so lame, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay. And then all the rooms should have a color theme. So like, why don't we make this one blue because the servo's in there. Bedroom, why don't we do it like something a little bit more relaxing like this. So it's more vibey. Bathroom, oh my gosh, I'd hate to live here. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, Ugh. but that's the point. Uh, kitchen will be yellow and the storage room. Why is the storage room so bright? Oh, is it the doors? The doors are providing light, aren't they? The storage room can be green. <laughs> you poor things. And the hallways have no lighting to make them really creepy. Oh, it's so creepy. Look at it. Oh, I like this. Cody would be amazing for this. You can put the listing equipment on top of the Roomba. What? So that the Roomba can go under and it will just go out? Is that what you're saying? Like, I could do that and the Roomba will just come out from under the chair? Let me know. Uh, in the mirrors, put oh, put mirrors on the walls in the grow room so that the light bounces. You absolute genius. Yes, let's do that. Does light work like that? Like, will that be enough? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's going to mess with my light, though. Unless I just move the lights up. Maybe I have to put it on the floors above, though. Maybe all of these need to be mirrored in order to make the light bounce. What do you guys think? Does the light in game behave like physics? The talking toilet. Yes. The whole flow plan looks like a robot. Uh, will my um, thingy still work though? Will my servo, uh, my Roomba still work? I've never had a Roomba before. I have a Roomba in real life though, but it always runs out of battery. <laughs> I don't know how accurate the Sims lighting physics is, but we'll pretend it is just for the sake of world building. And we'll put this bit all mirrored to try and maximize the light that the plants get. But I don't, uh, annoyingly, I don't think it's going to behave the way we want it to. But for world building, we shall have it. If you don't know what world building is, it's just little stuff you do to try and make things more believable in like the scenario that you've created. Kapow, so 
technically, the light will bounce down that- oh. Technically, the light will bounce down that, hit every mirror, and we'll get like a really concentrated beam for our plants. That is what should happen. So, put a desk block back so it doesn't block the door. Put the desk a block back. It'll block that door though, won't it? Put it there. Oh, the key card is there. <sighs> like, this door's kind of annoying. So big. And I made this... What about if I just made this uh, whole room, like, a little bit bigger? Just, like, one square. It's annoying because I feel like it should have, like, a claustrophobic feel. Uh, I have to make it symmetrical. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just do. Like, I want it to feel really claustrophobic. But if we can't fit stuff in, it kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Okay, we've got the listening equipment to see what's going on upstairs. We've got... We need the talking toilet. So let's get talking toilet in there. Um, What colour was the bathroom going to be? I think I've run out of colours. Talking toilet, yes. And sink. Is there any like quiet... Yeah, basic sink. And we needed the weird light, didn't we? Rugs. Can you make a nature room? Technically, this is the nature room. What I could do is put more stuff growing. Like, as if nature's kind of taken on a bit of a world. Like, like a world of its own. What, what is the word I'm trying to say? Like, nature's just kind of running a bit rampant in here. I think that could be quite a cool idea. Why was that? Why will that not place? Why are you going on the floor? I meant to go high. Okay, whatever. Yeah, and it's just kind of vibing out. I think that would be quite cool. That's meant to go in a corner, but it never works for me. Look. Okay, whatever. Um. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. So because like there's so much light coming in, we've ended up with like a lot of stuff growing on the walls, like algae kind of vibes, which I think is kind of cool. Not algae, but you know what I mean. Like, things are just kind of crazy in here. And it's kind of nicer, right? It's nice that we've at least got a bit of green going on. I'd think so anyway. I'd miss the green. I'd want, like, things to be greener and nicer. So I think that kind of works. Wait, I can put it in the floor above, can't I? Like, here. Nah! Stop being evil! There we go. Uh, so yeah. Nature is trying to take back because whenever humanity is anywhere, like, well, w when there's not enough humanity, nature starts to take things back, doesn't it? Which I think is a good thing. So we'll definitely get a bit of that going on. Where's the wall succulents? Yes, get some wall succulents going on. Oh, they're in a bit of an annoying position, aren't they? There we go, move them over. Oops. Bit of wall succulent. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. It's because I always have shift pressed down for some reason. Yeah, we got some wall succulents as well. We've got like these planters, but honestly, if we were gonna commit to these, I wouldn't be able to have as many grow beds, which would be a problem because they need the grow beds to live. So unfortunately I can't really do that. Yes, save. If you're wondering what this build is for, it's for a challenge. Uh, security cameras. Yes. Is there a security camera? Yes! Okay, so this is what we will use when we find our other survivor. In fact, I feel like we'd go security crazy, wouldn't we? Because we're scared. It's uh, a nuclear apocalypse, so we'd want cameras absolutely everywhere. Can I get that on the edge there? If I can do this, I'm going to be so happy with myself. Is that on? Yeah, look at that camera! Oh man, feels like living in the UK. <laughs> um, and then just in case anyone gets inside, we'll have um, a security camera here as well. So not only can't like change the angle of them, but whatever. Oh wow, a vault. Maybe we should have a vault. Maybe there should be a vault. <laughs> I want a vault! 
Like, just at the edge of the storage room, just like a vault. Do you, how do you do vaults? Do you have to do... How does it work? Does it have to be in a room? I think it has to be in a room. I've never ever placed a vault in The Sims either. This is all very new to me. And I want things to be symmetrical, so we're going to say no. But I know what I'm going to put there instead. Because it's going to be... This is just going to be a storage room. So that shelf thing, there's just going to be loads of that in there. Um... I don't know how to change the language because I want to say hi in Korean. I accidentally do it. I don't know how I do it when I do it, if I'm being honest. My game's having a bit of a meh. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's put loads of these. Just trying to store all like your medical supplies and all of that kind of jazz. All the stuff you need to try and stay alive in um, what is... Oh, I can put that on there. Oh, look how green that room is. Oh, I'd hate to go in there. <laughs> And let's do our little kitchen room, and then we're getting kind of close to the end, you know? I don't really know what else you'd, you'd need. Because it's meant to be basic. So, I'm not going to put a fridge in, because then they'll be able to get food from the fridge, and I don't want that. So, no fridge. Basic units, they're almost too nice. Wait, they should look like, like military units. Like... Like that. Yeah, like really faceless, kind of sad military units. Yeah. Um, because they'll be able to get food from the fridge if I do that. And you have to grow the food. So if she, if she can't grow food, she'll starve to death. That is how savage I'm going to be. I ain't even mad. I don't even care. We're going full savage. Why can I never find the stupid dining room in this game? There we go. Uh, Claire, put pictures of her family above the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. I think that could be a cool thing to do. Again, we want really basic looking stuff in here so that it looks really military. I mean, they're almost too cool, really. In fact, let's go back to Strangerville. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, they don't have any. Annoying. Um, I just want it to look like very basic. Maybe like that. It's just, I know it's kind of sad, um, but it is just like... These lights, I'm going to say, look like this because um, the military like created this technology that would burn for a thousand years. This is what you got to do, guys. The Sims doesn't really give you a lot of story, so you've got to create it yourself. You've got to make your own stories, and I quite like doing that, so that's why I do it all the time. <laughs> Wait, have we got an even more basic looking? Yeah, maybe something like that. This room's really yellow. It's kind of giving me a headache. Um, what else would you get? Any little government mandated? Oh, you'd get a bin. A trash chute. That's what you'd do. Because you, you wouldn't be able to, like... Like, just go to the bin on the surface. It would have to be a trash chute, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, guys. This is so clever. Um, use Micah's sister for this challenge. We could do... How will you cook? Yes, fair point. Um, so let's put in an oven. Again, very basic oven. Have we got anything even more basic looking? Maybe even like, that's like a canteen, isn't it? Nah, that's too nice. Let's just go for that one. Can it go a bit darker? I don't annoy you when stuff doesn't match. Like, it just really bugs me. Like, why is it a different colour? Why doesn't it match the swatches in the game? So dumb. Um, the thing is, they're going to have to be really careful. Because if they start... In fact, I'm going to have to put sprinklers down. If you start fires here, you will die really quickly. Like, really quickly. So I feel like we need sprinklers in basically every room. Ooh, chamber of sprinklers. Oh, it's a shower. <laughs> um, garden sprinkler. Fire prevention. Okay. This is super important when you're in a nuclear bunker. Very important. I'm going to have to put one of these in every room. Because if we get a fire, that's it, gang. Game over. Game over. All your plants would burn. Oh my gosh. You definitely can't be having any fires. Okay, what else do we need? What else do we need? Should we just see what if everything else that's in the Strangerville's inside pack and we'll just add all of it? You can't cook anything without a fridge. 
Can you not cook from your inventory? Is there a mod for like an empty fridge? Because I don't want them to buy food. Like if they buy food, that completely like negates the point of the challenge and that would really bug me. So I don't want them to be able to buy food. Um, so let me know, but fingers crossed there is because otherwise it's just gonna ruin everything. And then I will do a little cry. Um, oh, I said rec. They'd need to do a, a rec room, wouldn't they? Okay, their rec room's gonna be in here. Servo is gonna live next to, um, there we go. So, look, the robots can live together. <laughs> um, what else we got? Any uh, else that's cool inside? Guess this can go in our little storagey room. Just for some vibes. Vibing out, logging everything that's happened to see if there's any way that the world will ever be the same again. Spoiler alert, it never will. They floating, yep, they are floating right there, Claire. What else? Maybe I have to put some nuclear waste in here because that's how we power things. I don't know. And then what else? What's this? Oh, wow. That's kind of creepy. I like that. Where could I put this? In the robo corner. Because it's like, uh, oh, look. Here is how the world looks. Oh, that looks like Strangerville. Yes, like, oh, here's how things look outside, citizens. Don't worry. Actually, totally doesn't. Yes. And look at this computery kind of thing. Um, I kind of want to put that there. I hope it isn't going to interfere with the building. Uh, the um, gardening. But I want that to be like the thing that's powering all the stuff in there. Because yet again, I love to take things too seriously. So I'm going to like just delete two walls here. And this will be like powering the whole of this room. It's a super computer. And then let's get this going around the outside. Okay, I think we're getting kind of close to being all finished. Because I'm kind of running out of space to put too much more stuff on. I have to get rid of that. Super computer. What do you guys think? Claire, you can use a mini version which you can hide under the table or in the kitchen or something. What, like a mini fridge? Um, this one. Yeah, I just don't want her to be able to like just walk in, you know, if I don't notice. And like, she can just like start cooking. Because that would really annoy me. Um, I don't know. I need to pick a sim for it, don't I? Look how dark it is when you get there. <laughs> it's because the red light from the top doesn't manage to get that far down. I might um, just go ahead and like replicate this light on a few more levels. I think it's a debug item, isn't it? Because I just like, I like how creepy it looks. Oh, for God's sake. It's Hangul again! Ooh, 10 minutes. We've only got 10 minutes left, gang. Uh, I think we've done a good job, though. We've done everything that I wanted to do. We're ready for the challenge. And let me know if you think she'll survive or not. I don't know if she will. Hazmat suit! Okay. Oh, I've not really finished her bedroom yet, have I? Okay, let's make her bedroom a little bit more vibey. She needs a hazmat suit in there. And a spore filter. Let's just put, like, a few, a few little bits of bobs. I'll put them on something, don't worry. Uh, what's this? Oh, yes. Horrible, ugly dresser. And I don't know what this is, but I want it. Can you go up? There you go. Air filter. Yes. Probably need an air filter in all of the main living spaces, don't we? Air filter. Probably don't need one in the hallways. Just have to hold your breath when you're in the hallways. <laughs> I need a light for the bathroom as well. You don't need one in the plant room. In fact, these air filters are putting the um, plant oxygen all around the bunker. World building. Okay. We need some lighting in the bathroom. Uh, where's those red light? Oh, what are these? Redacted bizarre seeds. Oh, okay. Wait, key card. Where is the key card? I need to give her the key card as well, don't I? Ooh, what's this? Oh my gosh, I'm so distractible. Annoying. But look, 
I want to place this somewhere. Oh, look at it. It's all vibey and... Don't really fit, though. Okay, fine. I need... And don't don't let me forget about the key card. What's this for? It's for a challenge. Make sure to save. Okay. Um, What is the Paralives team streaming on? I don't know. I haven't checked that out at all yet. Um, I would I would watch it with you guys, but I don't actually know if I'm allowed to stream their stream. Um, I don't want to get in trouble, so I won't do that. I'm just going to give her a bedside table. But obviously, basic one. Yeah, basic military one. And then, should I give her a little... This is where we wanted to put, like, cute stuff around her bed, so that there's, like, a little bit of personality here. Otherwise, it's just all kind of a little bit too sad, isn't it? Um... So, what can we put up there? Winnie the Pooh. Maybe not that. Um, is there any, like, pictures that look like they're, like, family? Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay. So, this kind of stuff. Like, she's, like, you know, got this... She's still a human being. And human beings like to, like, do human stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, there for, like, a bakery. That's really cute. I like that. I don't know what that's... What's that from? Simcredible, Zara Wall Magazine Decor. There you go. Um, you missed the key card. I will put the key card up, don't worry, gang. I just want to put these little pictures up. Because I feel like making her have all this personality is, like, important. Because then we actually want her to survive. You know, we get, like, invested in her. Um, not the robot. I'm not talking about the robot. <laughs> um, I'm talking about whoever we have on this. Whichever poor person gets suggested for this challenge. Um... Yeah, I like them to be like a fully-fledged human. With hopes and dreams not to die of radiation poisoning. But let's face it, they probably will. Because it's one of my challenges. And they kind of get a bit scary sometimes. Um... I'll write up proper rules for this as well. So that if any of you guys want to like give it a go, then... Uh, you can do and I'll put I'll put this on the gallery the vast majority of it isn't custom content most of it isn't there's a few bits like this but everything else is from the strangerville park so you oh look like she was she's been drawing you should be able to just like play with this if I put it on the gallery I'll do the challenge first and then I'll wait after I've done the first episode I'll put it up so that you guys can play along with me I think that's the way we'll do it I think that would be quite cool Okay, so we've got, like, this little human element going on here. Um, I'm gonna put, like, a hazmat suit and stuff. Like, all piled up at the side of her bed, like, ready to use. And then I need a keycard. Secret lab keycard. Ooh, can it find it? It's trying, it's very hardest. When will you do this challenge? Um, probably this week I will try and do this challenge. Okay. Um, oh, it's in a pack, that's fine. Let's pop that at the side here. And I'll, I'll like teleport them in to start the challenge or else they won't be able to get down. Um, and then they should actually be locked inside. I'm going to make it key card sized. Um, oh my gosh, it's such a sad existence, isn't it? I kind of feel, I feel for this person a lot. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Okay, maybe not. Um, anything else kind of cool to put in? I wanted to give her like a little lump. I'll try and use, like, a lot of stuff that is not CC so that you guys can, like, play with this and not have to mess with it. Um, oh, we've got- she's got a lamp, actually. It's here, isn't it? Maybe I should put it as, like, more of a bedside lamp. No, I kind of like it there. I like it where it was. And then I said I was going to put these in the hallway. So even if I've used debug items, um, they should work fine in your game. So don't worry. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. You should be able to use them like normal. These red boxes I don't think appear in live mode either. So you don't need to worry about them either. They just tell the game where to produce light. So that's how you get this kind of like cool red glow. Cool. I think we are more or less done. I know it's kind of devoid of personality and stuff. But it's kind of the point. It's sort of meant to be. Um... I could give her another one of these, like, as her bedside table. Yeah. What else do you have in a bedroom? She talks to a toilet. She works out using this. 
She's got the robo to help her. Um, what else? You won't be able to have a TV because like don't, no one will be producing a signal. Um, you won't be able to have a barbecue. Um, you've got your sad little shower. A bookcase. I think books are one thing that humanity would definitely keep around for always and forever. So I feel like a bookcase is pretty important. So let's definitely get one of those in there. Maybe like that. Or that? Yeah, that one looks quite like bunkery. A bunker bookcase! A good place to sit. Yeah, that's a really good point. There's nowhere to sit currently. Uh, I think there's a Strangerville chair. Yeah, there is. Um, would the bookcase go out in here? This room's very big. I'm gonna put some spills on the floor in that room actually. But yeah, let's put... Um, Oh man, imagine sitting and reading on that. I can't do it to her, it's not comfy enough. I'll do it from in-game stuff. I just want a comfy little sitting chair. Little relaxing chair, you know? Um, She's got to at least have one comfort, you know? Just like one thing going for her. Um, This looks kind of futuristic. Like, I think just one thing, right? That's okay. And I'll put a little light above her chair just so that she can see, okay? See her little booking. Oh, wow. Got zoomed massively out there for some reason. Okay, that's how she can learn the skills that she'll need to survive because she's going to need to be able to repair everything by herself and all of that jazz. Um, and now let me just put the spills on the floor. Wait, strange a little. And then we're done. And there is um, a video going out tonight. Like I said, it's the BitLife one. And uh, things got really crazy in it again. So yeah. Okay, good. Stains. Stains is what this place was lacking. Let's get a bit of them around and about. Because let's face it, if many generations have lived here, it's probably going to be a little bit gross, isn't it? I'm just saying she won't have been the first one to sleep in that bed. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm making this poor girl's life so icky. But nobody said an apocalypse was meant to be a bunch of fun. Actually, I'd say the opposite. They're meant to be kind of awful. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, record Disney Princess after this as well. So let me know what you guys want to see in that in the chat now. And... Uh, Ooh, what should I, color should I make this room? Ooh, blue. We use blue. Oh, we use blue in the main room. Let's go for a little blue bathroom vibe as well, because I think that's kind of cool. Can I put it on top of here? These are the government's ever-burning lights, if you were wondering why we have them everywhere. They require no additional electricity. It is, in fact, microbes inside them that keeps them glowing forever. Microbes or bacteria, one of them. There we go. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but yeah. Uh, their first kiss. Uh, yes, actually. Beautiful prince. Probably our most handsome prince ever. Can be having their first kiss with Aurora. I was kind of like with the um, fairies who have made spellcasters so that they're like magic. I was going to go for them like really modern style. But then I was actually kind of like, I don't know if I want to stick a little bit more closely with the style of... Um, like the original, the original way that game looks is really cool. Oh my gosh, wall stains. Hello. Let's stain these walls. Um, oh, and propaganda posters. Yes. Um, so I ended up keeping it a little bit more old school. Maybe for one of the future ones we could go kind of modern. But for now, I kind of like the old school vibes, you know. Fire alarm. We don't need one, actually. We've got sprinklers. Okay. I think we're done. I think we've done that in really good timing because it is now five o'clock. So if you guys want to check your peaches, you can do now. Uh, we have a steam fit area. We have a medical supply area. Um, maybe I should have... Let me just real quick go to get to work. Get to work. If I do debug on here, I think I'll get like medical stuff. 
And we can repurpose some of this room to be medical supplies as well. So if I get rid of one of these... Uh, actually, we can get rid of two. We don't need both of them, do we? And is this like medical? Yeah, surgery table. It's kind of big. Make it a bit smaller. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have to be flea to fit on it. But they would have to rely on a robot to perform any surgery that they need. So I thought that could be quite cool. And oh my gosh, this could power everything. Look, I don't know what it is. It's from the science. Oh, I, I can't believe I forgot about that. There's a science lab, isn't there? As part of Get to Work. Oh, we could have been having well sciencey stuff this whole time. Oh, how annoying. I can put some stuff out here. Actually, we've got these like, if you ever need to do some stuff out there to check the radiation levels, you can do. We've got this, which will be supplying power to all of the underground area. A sim ray? <gasps> A wormhole generator! Ah! I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Ah! Ooh, should I have these to like, tell you where to go? That could be quite cool. <laughs> oh man. I can try and input more science into it. Anywhere that we can fit it. Cause like I can make this really small and then like put it on top of there. Oh wow, a bit floaty. There, we'll just add more like sciencey looking stuff, you know? We'll find places to fit it all. Put that under the table. Carson would have a field day robbing everything from here, wouldn't he? <laughs> Loves a good rob, that kid. Loves a good rob. Uh, someone's like, just got here, what did I miss? Friend, you missed everything. <laughs> We're gonna be going soon. <laughs> We're just doing our finishing touches. <laughs> it's okay, we forgive you. Um... Will that stop people from getting by? I hope not. Oh, this would be funny. Look, everyone, we'll save you. Come to our uh, thing and we'll save you. Lol, they saved no one. One girl is all that the Sim government saved. They were liars and crooks. Uh, I can put some science stuff outside, actually. This can all help power the outside. Like I said, world building. Oh, that's for the police one, isn't it? Oh man, maybe we can have a de um, decontaminator outside in case anyone ever does need to come in. Or like a scanner. So if anyone wants to come in, they have to step in the scanner and get scanned first so we can work out like how radiated they are. And if they're too radiated, they're not allowed in. Nope, sorry, you're not allowed. Stay outside, radiation boy. What noise are you making? Stop going. <sighs> Scaring me? <gasps> Hydro? Hydro aqua filtration chamber? Yes. Okay, get rid of this little tower. We need a hydro aqua filtration tape chamber instead. 100% we do. Out with this world mailbox. I'm not sure how much mail we'll be getting, let's face it. And what's this? Large energy emitting transistor. Oh my gosh. Transmit energy immediately, please. Why is Lexi whistling at me? Uh, can you not go upwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need an energy transmitter. Just hanging out at the side. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about Get to Work. Sorry if you guys said it in the chat, and I totally missed it. Um, but yeah, I want all of this stuff is very exciting to me. La, la, la. I'm gonna put this in the rock. Can it go up any higher? Where are you? Oh, it's as high as it can go. Okay, you can go in this rock. Out there, measuring the waves. Measuring all of the waves. Love that. Lexi, you've been eating grass again. I can tell because you're going... <laughs> it's a sure giveaway that she's been eating grass. And a fan, I think, as well. Um, Because it's probably going to be kind of hot down here. Kind of hot and sweaty and gross. Oh, really cold. Mm, probably really cold, actually. So look, got a little fun. Just trying to cool the air. Trying to make things a little bit better. 
take off grid line so you guys can kind of get a vibe for the place. And I guess the next time you'll see it will be in Lush Challenge. My surviving the nuclear apocalypse challenge. If no one's done it yet, that's really cool. If someone else has done it, it's also fine. I will try not to look. I won't look because um, I like to like give it my own swing and if I look at other people's I'll just end up accidentally copying them so I'm not gonna do that okay guys I think we're all done we've added all of our strange technology uh someone's probably made a nuclear bunker much better than this but I wanted to keep it really small and I wanted to make it feel like a rabbit warren and like really claustrophobic and horrible because in my head that is how I imagine this kind of thing looking so I wanted to try and stay as true to that as I possibly could let me know if you guys agree that this looks like a horrible place to live. Because that is exactly how it is meant to look. And I'm going to put this on the outside because it's a government created um, thing. Where does that go when I do that? Why won't you let me stick you on? Okay, fine. You might have to float. Oh no, I can't have it floating. That's just all around very annoying. <gasps> we'll put it on the rock. Look. This is a government facility. Um, but the government also caused it, so you know what? Don't don't be trusting that government. Dangerous governments. Kind of a good rule for real life as well, to be honest. Don't ever trust the government. <laughs> okay, there we go. Looking pretty spiffy. Let me know what you guys think. I will put this on the gallery once I've started my challenge as well. Uh, Lexi sounds like I need to go and pull a long old grass uh, blade of hair. Uh, gr Looks like I need to go pull a long old blade of grass out of her mouth because she's doing this stupid noise and I know exactly what the noise means. Um, but hopefully you guys are hyped for this challenge. Thank you so much for joining me in the stream. This is the most people we've ever had in the stream. And here is uh, how... Oh, it's not letting me glide. Let me glide. Oh, I can't move. That's so weird. I've always been able to move in build mode. Oh... <gasps> Weird. Okay, so this is our beautiful um, military chain, uh, radiation bunker from the outside. <gasps> oh. There. Oh no. What is this? Go away. There we go. Here is our radiation bunker from the outside, and then after that, you have to go four floors down to get to the actual bunker. Here is the main hub. Uh, with our robo friends, we've got the living area, we've got the bathroom, the grow room, we've got the uh, storage and surgical area, and we've got the kitchen as well. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so, so much for joining the stream. I'm going to go ahead and hit a save. And I'm going to end the stream. However, I would really appreciate it if you guys now head to the Clash of Arn YouTube channel. I'm going to pop some links in the chat now. Because I've just uploaded! I actually uploaded during the stream, so if you haven't already, please go ahead and check out my newest video. Uh, I can show you the beginning of it now, actually. <laughs> because uh, crazy things were happening in it. Crazy things were happening all over the place in it. Did you guys, <gasps> Your oh, mother go. has just come out of the closet as gay! It what? happened! At 94! We'll wants to... <gasps> there you go, guys! Craziness oh, happening! Oh Craziness hey, happening! So, uh, okay, stop talking now, Claire. Oh, Claire, Claire, shut up! Claire, shut up! Um, shut up! We're old. Shut up. Old. There we go. So, <laughs> I'm gonna spam the chat with some links for it. Please go ahead and check out the stream. Thank you guys so, so much for joining. And I will see you guys in another stream or another video. And if you're on YouTube, please drop some comments and say hi. I like checking out your comments, even if the stream, even if you're not watching it live. Uh, I still love you guys just as much. So stay peachy and I'll see you guys in another stream slash video. Bye, 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 bye.